What's going on, Ballroom Gang? It's Eddie. And again, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got glasses. Can't see. Like, literally, I just can't see no more. I'm like, I'm not legally blind, but my eyesight's really bad. But, very but I'm determined to make this video. Sorry for any noise in the background, if you hear anything. So, Yubi, Yubi's Halloween. I don't know what, about you guys. Well, before I say anything, before I say anything, I need you guys to understand that I will be spoiling a lot of things here. So, if you don't want this movie to be spoiled, you shouldn't be watching this review. Now, let's get to the movie. Hubie Halloween. What did you guys think about that? It was a horror film. Well, it was a comedy horror film. That's how I could put it. Comedy in one end and horror in the other. Sometimes do not mix. But a lot of people actually enjoy this movie. Only because there was a lot of Disney stars. And unfortunately, a Boston newscast person was fired over being in a movie with Adam Sandler. Before I continue with this movie, I want to say for the Boston lady, the anchor woman... You did a great fucking job. You did a great job in that movie. And I applaud you for that. You should have not got fired. You should have got a raise or something. But no. I guess your boss was being a little, oh, my little bitch. Uh. He probably got mad that you got the part and probably he didn't. Oh, whatever. But you did a great job in that movie. I'm just sad that. You was fired over over it. That like blew my mind away when I heard that. But besides that, there was a lot of Disney stars in there. And honestly, guys, ugh, that's the only reason why people somewhat liked the movie. Because there was Disney stars in it. There was the China from Tyler Perry House Bane. There was a couple people from Good Luck Charlie, I believe. Anyway, I'm not really familiar with these Disney people, but I don't care. A movie was a movie for me, and this movie was honestly awesome. In many ways, it was really awesome. Now, it's based on Hubie, who is... The Halloween expert, like the safety guide person. You know, he wants everyone to be safe. He wants everyone to, you know, probably eat your vitamins, brother, or something like that. Nah, I'm just playing. But Hubie Duwab is a very nice and general private type of person. He really enjoys spending time. Spending time with people, you know, getting to know them. He was a, he's a great, lovable person. He fell in love at a young age, but never got to be with the girl because the officer married the person. It was it's just a whole little like love circle type thing. But. It's all based on a mystery in this film. Who is the killer? Plain and simple. I am not going to reveal the killer. Because I think that would be messed up. Honestly, I really feel that would be messed up. But I am not going to reveal the killer. I'll let you guys watch the movie to honestly see that. But 
the reason why I'm like so small here, because I'm probably gonna show something around here. I'm giving myself some space with the videos and stuff like that, or pictures. <laughs> but other than that, guys, it was a very calm, collected, funny type of horror film that a lot of people like me who are true horror fans probably wouldn't like it. Like, sometimes it does not mix. Halloween comedy does not mix. Doesn't for me. But in this case, it's the Adam Sandler movie. I love Adam Sandler. I love his movies. I love all of them. So I gave this a try. And to come to find out, I kind of liked it. Because it had that funny moments. And it had a little jump scares. That's what I always look about. Jump scares. And how do we go? Sorry, it's really late and I'm doing this video. <laughs> but, guys, he meets, well, not meets, he bumps back into his old high school crush. You know, she throws herself at him. Basically, like, Hubie, take me. I want you. I want you all. Yo, she was like a hoe. I'm sorry. But, she put herself out there. And Hubie, being a nice guy as he is, he really didn't realize it. That she wanted him. Now, Hubie has his grandmother who... She's like... I want to I feel like she's a witch. In many different ways. I feel she's a witch. But it doesn't show anything that she was a witch. But for some reason, I feel like she's a witch. Now, everybody finds out about this missing person. Someone escapes from the crazy house. And then people go missing. Now, everyone in town is scared. Nobody wants to do nothing. Literally. No one wants to do anything. But guess what? Hubie Dubois on the job. He goes out and finds out everything. He goes looking for the killer. He goes finding out where the kids are. Well, within 32 seconds of them looking, they found them. Pretty sad. Pretty fucking sad. 32 minutes. Or th no, 32 seconds. Yeah, 32 seconds after making the call to fight, to put out a PPP or APP, whatever the hell they called it. They were in custody already. That movie really <laughs> threw me off. It's gonna throw all of you off too. Trust me, I'll just go watch it. It's gonna throw you off. Now, it's characters are wonderful. Again, it's Adam. It's an Alice Adam movie, so I just love the fact that everyone enjoyed what they did. Everyone enjoyed what they did. They loved. It showed like they loved it. Honestly, so I'm gonna stop it there. Because I don't want to say, I don't want to blabber a lot. So I give this movie a roughly, I want to say an eight and a half out of ten. Just because, again, sometimes horror doesn't go with comedy, but in this case, it went well with it. Now, when it comes down to extending the like the story and the plot wise, they could have done that a little better. Mind you, it's on Netflix and it's a two almost a two hour movie and I feel like they didn't hit the point at all. And within two hours of that movie, I feel like they they didn't hit the point of it. But guys, you tell me what you guys like about this. You tell me what was your favorite scene, if you've seen this movie. Just, what is else there to do? It's not like we ain't doing nothing else. Alright guys, I'm Eddie, I'm Bald, and I have glasses, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later guys.